Hello, my name is Lily and welcome to my channel. From the title of this video, you already know what we're going to be doing here today. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing my hair routine plus all the products I use and my secrets for hair growth. I know many of you have been asking for this video, so finally, <laughs> I'm doing this video as I, as I um, promised you guys. Um, but before we go into this video, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you subscribe right now. Hit the subscribe button under this video. Also hit the notification bell so that whenever I post new videos, you get a notification. And okay, now that you're subscribed to my channel, let's go straight into the video. So this is like my most requested video. I know I've been <laughs> okay. I know I've been dodging answering that question because well, it's no longer as straightforward as it used to be like you've been following me for a while now you know my old hair routine my old um hair routine plus all the products I used before I used to use just shea butter um do ocean black soap and eggs on my hair but since I started doing product reviews a few months ago um that has changed a little bit so it's no longer as straightforward as it used to be um and my routine is um uh, I'm still getting the hang of it you know combining um reviews and regular straightforward routine so that's why i've not shared to you guys but i'm taking the time out to sit down to sit down and think and write everything one by one so in this video like i'm going to be downloading or sharing everything i use on my hair plus my secrets and the things i can't do without things i can do without and stuff like that so I feel like I'm talking too much. <laughs> Let's just jump straight into the video. Okay. So, um, like I said before, I had my old hair routine used to be pretty basic, and now it's not like it's no longer as no longer basic. It's still basic because I don't like stress, you know. <laughs> so, but I've changed a few things. Um, I have a video where I share my old hair routine. I'm going to leave the link down in the description box. Um, you sh if you've not watched that video, you should watch it because I'll give you help you understand this video a lot better. Because I'm going to be doing like comparison of going back and forth, telling what I used to do, and I'll be telling you what I do now. Okay, first off, my routine, my new routine. I wash my hair weekly. I used to wash my hair with the ocean black soap shampoo. Now I still wash my hair most times with the ocean black soap shampoo, but sometimes I use regular store brush shampoos, and I like using um uh black soap shampoos because my hair loves black soap. So when I'm using my homemade DIY dissolution black soap shampoo, or I'm using stubborn shampoo. Most times it's going to be a black soap shampoo. Then I massage my scalp every day. I used to do that with shea butter, but now I use oils because oils, well, I have oils. <laughs> and also because oils are lighter than um, shea butter. So for the scalp, it's just easier to use oils and it's easy to penetrate. Like if you have like now I'm wearing a bun. I can just put like the applicator part of the hair um, bottle or stuff and it's just sink to my scalp. You know, I don't have to um, take down my bun or so, which most times I usually take down the bun. <laughs> but basically, you have, you know, now I'm trying to say like oils are a lot easier to use for scalp massage than shea butter. So now I use oils. I'll be sharing that also, telling you the oils I use. Then next, um, deep condition <laughs> well before i i didn't i never used to deep condition my hair but now i deep condition when i'm doing product reviews um we of pr product lines that have deep conditioners in them because well if i'm going to be telling you a product is this and that, i have to try it for myself and you know have a personal experience with it so i do product reviews when i'm doing sorry i use deep conditioners when i'm doing product reviews i also use deep conditioners when I feel like I just want to be extra and wash this <laughs> and that's not very often so deep conditioning isn't really very crucial to my hair routine right now maybe in the future that would change so for now deep conditioning is not something I cannot do without you know um, and also recently I've been doing a DIY hair mask I've been using that um, consistently for a few weeks now and I really like how the effect it has on my hair like it's I feel like my hair is getting Thicker. I don't know if you guys I don't know if you notice, but I'm not really sure about that, so I don't want to just jump and tell you guys something and then later I come back and say, well, that's not actually 
um, true, you know. So, but I'm just, I think he's making my head thicker. It's, uh, it's a DIY, but it's not really that simple. It's a lot complex. I'm going to share the recipe with you guys, and I'm sure that um of what it does to the hair and i'm sure that it's safe because i don't want to share something with you guys and then um some maybe you try it out and it makes your hair fall out and you come out like you made my hair fall out you know that kind of thing i don't want to be the um reason i don't want to be responsible for someone's hair mishap so i'm going to test it out for a while and see that it's safe before i share the recipe with you guys but for now i think well anyway. <laughs> let me just talk about that um then next uh moisturize and i moisturize my hair every time on wash days with water and shea butter and after I wash this anytime i feel like my hair is dry most times i do that every two days i moisturize with uh, water and shea butter um but sometimes i use top board products i am i find out that i'm drawn to uh, mist hair mist and thick creams because that's a lot similar to my water and shea butter um um, routine so I rather I, I prefer um, for moisturizing my hair I prefer to use mist and thick creams or butter so when I'm not using shea butter and water to moisturize my hair I'm using a thick cream and butter to do that you know, to moisturize my hair then whew, yeah I trim my hair every three months um, because I love scissors <laughs> I also cut use a spell to just style my hair every time I style my hair just so that it's just be close by and it's be easy for me to cut out any single strand knot or tangle that I cannot undo at that particular time. Um, I find out that that helps me reduce how much hair I need to cut like when I do my regular trims every three months. Then what else? Well I think that's all about my hair routine. <laughs> so next I'm going to be showing you guys my the starboard products that I'm really feeling right now, starboard products that I really like right now for different reasons. First off, um, is the shampoo. Like I said, I usually shampoo my hair with my Zoshun black soap shampoo. Black soap shampoo. When I'm not using the Zoshun black soap shampoo, I like to use this um, RB cleansing moisturizing shampoo. It's also a black soap shampoo, uh, and I really love this shampoo because it's quite thick. Um, it smells. It smells mm. <sighs> well the first time I actually got the shampoo the smell felt it smelled herbal and kind of strong like overpowering but after I used it the first time I feel like it's something you get used to like now it smells nice <laughs> I don't know the smell grew on me so now it smells nice I love it because it's quite thick this this is like I've never used um, a shampoo that is this thick. My DIY um, shampoo is usually very watery, so this is thick, and so it gives you, um, it helps you to like, if you want to apply shampoo on just your scalp and not the rest of your hair, like because it's thick, it's easier to handle, like you know, to play around with. You know? So I really love the shampoo. This is like, do I prefer it to my DIY black soap shampoo? Well. The DIY is my first love, so that's why um, I'm thinking twice about it. But if not for that, like this shampoo is perfect, and it also has sleep. You know, it has a lot of sleep to it, so um, it's it's also a moisturizing shampoo. So you, you after using it, like not like your hair strips your hair of moisture or anything like that. So I really love the shampoo. This is like my go-to shampoo. Like I don't, you can't see, you guys cannot see, but like the shampoo is almost gone. <laughs> I've almost used everything that's to show how much I love this shampoo then now to conditioners like I said conditioning and deep conditioning is not a crucial part of my regimen right now although I'm really loving the hair mask DIY hair mask mask I've been using I also noticed that when I deep condition back to back like frequently like for a period of time my hair starts to become too moisturized and it starts to feel limp and that's actually one of the reasons why I came up with that DIY hair mask to just you know strengthen up and just give it some strength and to save me from um, hydro fatigue because I actually experience hydro fatigue I have high porosity hair and so it's a very easy for me to over moisturize my hair because you know for high porosity hair you have no problem absorbing moisture so 
too much deep conditioning i don't know if that happens for every other person but for, I know for me too much deep conditioning with moisturizing deep conditioners um can give me high grade fatigue um but when i'm deep conditioning my favorite deep conditioner at the moment uh, is also <laughs> i have to give it to this deep conditioner rb mango and shea moisturizing and stopping deep conditioner i love this conditioner because well i actually use it with this i first condition my hair with um conditioner then i deep condition um the products have a lot of sleep um they are quite moisturizing and they are quite slippery and so if i when i need to deep condition my hair um and i want to, to just you know make the whole process fast that's what i go for because it's, it has a lot of sleep and it's moisturizing the smell oh the smell it has a herbal smell that can be like for the deep conditioner it has a herbal smell that can be strong for some people i know the first time i i smelled that it was kind of strong for me but this this has a milder smell the conditioner has a milder smell i love i like the smell i have that one <laughs> i like the smell of the conditioner well but it's not it's something you that will grow on you like i said the same thing with shampoo at first when i smelled um that it was it kind of smelled strong and overpowering but as i used it i got used to it like from the first day after using it like it just i got used to the smell so it's not a big deal and they are quite moisturizing so when i want to deep condition like deep conditioners i go for now for moisturizing wow now for moisturizing like I said, I usually moisturize with water and shea butter, but when I'm not moisturizing water and shea butter, I find myself reaching out for mist and thick creams. And my favorite right now is this the Ava Lux Butter Dream and the Ava Lux Moisture Mist. Like, I love these two so much together. Like, they are so moisturizing, so moisturizing. Like, and um, if you check their page on Instagram, you see, um, some of the styles that they achieve with this my hair is very thick and <laughs> i'm not really been able to achieve the all moisturized uh, not moisturized all defined twist style braid out with this because well getting that kind of defined definition by just applying cream doesn't work for me but i've used this the, the two products this especially on my sister's hair my star and my sister's hair was just defined you know so I feel like that has to do with my hair it's just stubborn in quotes <laughs> but i love this too for moisturizing like when i'm not using my shea butter and water i'm using these two products like i love it so much that it's gone i've been using everything and that's rare like i've never finished a stubborn product before wait, wait, wait. before i say that let me think I'm not a product, product junkie, but I, I don't think I've ever finished, like, used a product from beginning to the end, like, finish the entire bottle. I don't think that I've ever, that has ever happened. I don't think, since I started my natural hygiene, I don't think that has happened. Because most times when I get a product, um, I don't use it for, like, a few times, and then I just get tired and move to my old routine. Or... I'm loving it and then someone comes and like oh I love this your cream let me have it and then being the generous kind-hearted sweet excellent woman that I am I give it out <laughs> well but for this one people have been asking for this but I have refused to release it that should show how much I love um these two products and the smell 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 they both smell they both have the same smell they smell lovely <sighs> they smell flowery you know they smell i love the smell of both products so these two are my best like my favorite combination for moisturizing my hair um as for stylers i'm not really most stylers work as moisturizers for me because I've not really been able to get the definition. I feel like I get more definition when I use shea butter, like pure shea butter, than using stylers because shea butter is quite thick. There is no styling cream that is as thick as shea butter. And for my hair to be defined, it needs 
to be thick like the product needs to be thick like maybe a gel will work you know but for styling creams i've used very various good great styling creams but they have not really been able to define my hair so i use stylers as moisturizers um then i've already told you guys how much i love shea butter like i just need to have shea butter with me at all times this is something i cannot do without this is the unwhipped um raw shea butter like, as you can see it's almost finished so now over to oils like i said i massage my scalp every day scalp massaging is very important to me um, i started doing that like last year and for my hair i've noticed that it has helped me reduce prevent dandruff i no longer i used to have dandruff on my hair like this portion of my hair every other part will be fine but this part i usually have dandruff around here but since i started doing scalp massages and also using black tip shampoo i noticed that i no longer have dandruff so scalp massage is very important to me i also noticed that scalp massaging helps to keep your scalp healthy and that will help your hair grow strong and healthy. I don't know if it makes the hair grow faster. I doubt if that you did scalp massage and help make the hair grow faster. But I know that it helps to keep the scalp healthy. So if your sorry, so if your hair growth is st stunted because of unhealthy scalp, doing scalp massaging may help um, improve that and that will help your hair grow better and faster. In that case. So for oils for my scalp massage, I used to do scalp massages with shea butter. But now that I have oils, well, why not use oils? Because oils are a lot easier to use for scalp massaging than um, shea butter. So my favorite oil is this. For the oils, I have a few. I feel like when I get products, the products that remain in my routine for longer are the oils because most oils are natural like just oils you don't have to worry about preservatives and stuff like that like they're just they're just nice and the oils are multi-purpose you can use them for so many things for those of you that like to do hot oil treatment prepose and stuff you can use oils for like so many things so i love oils and so for the oils i have a few that i love one of them is this kusa black soap Sorry, not black soap. Kusa Jamaican black castor oil. The coconut flavor. Um, I love this oil because of the smell. It smells... <sighs> oh, <God. sighs> I started using this oil even before I started doing like major product reviews. Because the problem I had with my shea butter routine was the fact that shea butter doesn't have that pleasant perfume smell. So after I used my shea butter, I just, you know, applied this to my hair and then my hair just start smelling so nice because this smells like chocolate like chocolate and coconut mm, i love this smell so this is one of my favorite oils um right now like i love it so much that like i told you before i hardly use the products from the beginning to, like i hardly finish a full jar of the product most times i give it out before it's exhausted or for some that i don't just use like that again um, so I love and I'm very particular about smell. I love like products that smell nice So if it's a product that smells Overpowering and smells bad and not something I can use regularly like, I don't want someone to come in my hair and sniff down uh, What's that in your hair? You know, that's uh, That's not a good feeling. So I like products that smell nice or if it doesn't smell that nice Let it be something that will wear Wear off after a while. So I love this oil I feel like I'm talking I'm going off points too much anyway this oil I love it because it smells nice I used to use it for scalp and now it's almost exhausted I've been like mising I have like just this is where what's left of the oil and I've been mising this oil because I've searched everywhere I've not seen where to get this particular oil I've seen the black castor oil not the coconut flavor the regular black castor and I hear that doesn't smell as nice as this one um and i know that there are other brands not kusa that make jamaican black castor oil like this but it doesn't smell like this i'm particular about this smell and so that's why i'm minding this oil because I, I don't want it to finish i need to finish eventually and i hope i get a place to buy a new one before then but like i'm minding this oil so i don't use that often as i used to just because i don't want it to finish so i only use this when i'm going somewhere special because of the smell but before i use it for scalp massaging every day um, so apart from that another oil i love is this 
mega group oil i use this for my scalp massaging um i also love the smell of this oil <laughs> it smells like bubble gum <laughs> i love the smell of this oil so as you can see <laughs> it's almost gone i love this oil also um then next this oil i haven't actually i've used this oil only once so i've heard so many good reviews about that as the main choice oil great oil i've heard so many positive reviews about this i just got this oil so um i'm going to be using this once in a while or maybe all the time i'm sure i'll be using it <laughs> and to see if all the positive reviews i've been hearing are actually true um so i just got this oil so i can't really say much about this but my two favorite oils right now are the jamaican black castor oil by kuza and the mega growth oil so um i think that's all those are the products i use for my hair um so all these products i've listed plus diy recipes i like diys um like this bottle also the avalox is finished so what is actually in this bottle is a hair mist a diy hair mist um i'm going to be sharing some of my diy recipes with you guys very soon as soon as i use them long enough when i know that they are safe and they are good you know and they are good i can feel them in my hair but i'm going to be sharing the recipes with you guys when i'm sure that they are safe because i don't want to share a recipe you try it out and then you start having new reactions and stuff just like that so, so so those are basically what i use um in my hair i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give the thumbs up make sure you like this video and comment down below if you used any of these products and um share experiences with me also if you have any product that you like me to do a review i have I, oh, I <laughs> also if you have any product that you want me to do a review on comment down below what it is and i'll look into doing a review um for you guys if you're not following me on instagram follow me on instagram you need to follow me on instagram uh, because well <laughs> a lot's happening on instagram so follow me on instagram oh i'm so tired like this video took longer than i expected anyway thank you for watching see you in my next video